What's going on? Welcome to Universe Mode. I am your booker, promoter, and soon to be professional wrestler here in the WWE Universe. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up shows. Seven matches per Wait, hold on. Yeah, seven matches per card. Let's work on the let's check out the division. All right. All right. Well, those divisions are good, are looking good. Let's do SmackDown, the same thing. Seven matches per card, our division. So what we're gonna do with the division is like, I'm gonna have, you know, people, especially Santos Escobar and Kerry Cross try to dethrone Roman Reigns. And if they fail, they will have they will go back to the mid card and try to work their way up and with the champ current champions that are you know intercontinental US champion well we'll take them and put them in the main event and should they lose their intercontinental title they will stay in the main event until they lose maybe five or more so I'm going to call it make or break. Same with tag teams. I'll occasionally form tag teams out of scratch. Or I will break them up. We will also have... We will also have... You know... Women like Shotzi, Aaliyah, or Zaya Lee, or Sonya Deville go on winning streaks in hopes to face the number one. Or... We'll also have, and with the top contenders, we will have number one contenders matches between the one and two, three and four, or the five and six. The lower will have to go on a winning streak. And random tag teams will be facing off against the current champions. And as for as for the I'm leaving NXT as it is but there will also be a talent exchange meaning like if there's a a guy that has exceeded far mo far of the expectations they will be added to a show so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Carmelo Hayes Same thing. We will be having contendership matches. We'll even do loser leaves town match that way. We can uh, add more death to to the brand. So that's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do. We're going to be currently on the road to to WrestleMania Backlash. And our first, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fix up stuff.
Well, we're gonna have... Hopefully things go good. So what we're gonna have start... So what we're gonna do for, in terms of rivalries, I think the first, like, we're going to have different title matches every, like, of my choosing. So what we're going to do, we're going to also book on, whoa, I thought about booking on the fly, but I'm going to book rivalries. So what we're going to do for the first championship match, we're going to have... Seth Rollins go one on one with Roman and let's give Damian Priest a potential title match I'm gonna have and then boom there we go and then we'll have a number one contenders match. But right now. We'll start with the title matches. Probably by money in the bank. Of the number one contenderships. But right now. Let's book a little rivalry here. Dom and Ray. And for the we're going to have a women's title match. We'll have Asuka go one on one against Bianca. There we go. Raw is taken care of. And before, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add. John Cena to the SmackDown roster. We'll have John Cena on SmackDown for now. Or better yet, we'll have him on both shows. As he'll be, you know, a legend. He'll be under a... He'll be under a Legends deal. I mean, a, a free... Oh, well, yeah. You know, that'll be the Legends deal. Legends will get to go to both shows. Ones that are part timers, though. So John Cena can go from sh oh, from show to show. All right. Let's go to NXT. Let's have a title match between Braun Breaker and Ilya Dragunov. And a number one contenders match between 
Carmelo Hayes. The winner will face North American champion Wesley. And then we'll have a women's title. Or better yet, yeah, let's have a women's number one contenders match. Between Alba Fire and Zoe Stark. And let's have a women's tag team ti uh, NXT women's tag team title bout. Between. No, not them. There we go. And now for Friday. Let's have a women's main event on SmackDown. We'll have Charlotte defend her title against Ronda Rousey. And we'll give Gunther a day off. Let's have... Let's have Sami Zayn face off. Face off against Ricochet for a shot at Gunther. And you know what? I may just have an uh, Intercontinental Championship title match. Let's have Solo Sokoa. Try his hand at defeating Gunther. And let's do a, a tag team title match between between the New Day. The uh, Usos will have, I will call it. We're gonna have one final time the Usos versus the New Day. All right, so that is our our cards for this coming week. So I am going to groom my next title challenger. We could the winner will be pushed between Edge and AJ Styles. Same with Cody Rhodes. So we got a good, we got a good uh, card here for next week for Monday Night Raw. So let me know what you think and when the, we will have a Legends m match. So John Cena is in Hollywood, he gets to go to both shows. Edge ain't in Hollywood, so Edge can go, okay, will be exclusive to, uh, so each legend I, will, I bring back through the polls will either be exclusive to where, who they face. Like say if Bret Hart, if I choose Bret Hart to meet the winner between Roman once the rivalry is done. Like, it, 
I'm going to make this stipulation right now. Should Roman Reigns lose the rivalry, he will no longer be on the Raw brand. That means he won't, him, like say, same thing with the Usos. If the Usos lose the tag team titles, come next, once the rivalries, current rivalries are done, they will be forced to leave Monday Night Raw. And I will occasionally surprise surprise people. And as for authority figures, we will see. But for right now, this is the current setup. Each week will be pre-recorded episodes of Raw, NXT, and Smack and uh, SmackDown. And when the pay-per-views, we will also be de de debuting created superstars that I make or download. We'll see. So with that being said, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, hit that notification, and we'll see you next time.